actually, yeah, so it was Hey guys, was so what is up? Welcome back to Prospect Central 101. My name is Chris Robbins, and today I'm joined by... Brayden. And we're going to be watching some Isaiah Oliver. Uh, he is a third-year junior from Colorado. Uh, he plays corner, listed at six foot one ninety. I like that he got to that six foot mark projected. We'll see if that holds up in Indy though. Uh, as far as starting, he did start three games as a freshman, so if you want to consider that, uh, two games as a sophomore, uh, and of course ten games as a junior. Uh, so if you want to call that a three year starter, then uh, it's great. He definitely played uh, for three years, so. Uh, it's good to see from him. Uh, he did have a leg injury this year, so uh, hopefully that doesn't. Oh, damn, I don't remember that. Doesn't <laughs> seem right. to be reoccurring. Uh, hopefully not. It's not like a hamstring or anything. Uh, so. I mean, it's two games one time. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, his father played football at Oregon, uh, as well as in the NFL cornerbacks. So good. Uh, Lineage there. His uncle played in the NFL wide receiver, so even better. Uh, he plans on training for the 2020 Olympics. It's pretty interesting. The De decathlon. Uh, so hopefully we get to see some of that athletic skill uh, and, of course, being a junior, he declared early. So, uh, what have you seen? Obviously, you're a Colorado guy yourself. What yeah. do you expect to see from Col or from Isaiah Oliver in some of these tapes? I want to see. You'll expect to see. You'll see. So you'll see good ball, good plays on the ball, good, solid man. He's a good solid man corner who who's who plays very well on the who plays very well on the ball. He he's an okay tackler. He's not a Michael Joseph, but he, he's serviceable there. The main the main thing I'm kind of iffy on is his zone right now, but we'll see. Cool. Uh, so here we go here. Actually, of course, my bar is not good. Uh, Colorado have... State, this is probably his best game of the season. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, first week of the year, getting off to a hot start. Uh, yeah. All set. Yeah, I remember watching this game. So here we go. Is well, to be honest, I remember watching every game that we'll see. <laughs> so I'm on the first attempt here. Next I was seeing her pocket. That's Gallup. Yeah. Kind of got pushed off there, but there and there's the tackling. Oh. Got pit pushed off there. Alright, how he's playing tight at the line? Not giving the yeah, you'll, too much space you'll get that release. a lot with him. He plays tight at he's he plays press a lot. Wanna see him be, be a bit more active and run support? Oh, nice arm extension. I like his arm length. He definitely uh, utilized that to his advantage here. He, st he gets that thing all the way out to force scale to the outside. Nice. Now, one thing I would say I want to see a little bit differently here is instead of facing Gallup, I want to see him read the quarterback. He's facing the sideline. Ideally, I want to see him watch the quarterback so he can read the pass. He's got a great arm extension and press. The Turner. We'll see the punt returner. Not really. That's a flag. Yep, there you go. Good job selling that. 
Apparently he was punt returner for this game. I, yeah, I guess. He, it, I don't know why, he's not really that, he's not the primary punt returner. But hey, you got a flag there. This one almost got blocked, because, yeah. The... If you think CSU's punt are bad, you should see Kenny, that guy's garbage. Worst punter, he, he probably can't punt in a high school level. That dude is terrible. From where? See you. Oh. Their punter is terrible. Probably wouldn't start for Pomona. <laughs> for you guys who don't know, Pomona is the state champions of Colorado high school football. Okay, I'm playing a zone look here, I would guess. Just by how far off he's playing. You're off the block. Okay, let me stay engaged. Done. Nice footwork. I like his back pedal. Couldn't really see him get the jump there, though. Oh, that was it got tipped. For it. I'm pretty sure I was Gamboa. No, I was in Gamboa. 25 now. Let me see the first 26. Communication and leadership on the defense. I like that. Oh, he's on top. Zone look. Go for the. Oh, man. I want to see a little bit more one tackler. Tried it. We've seen this play like three times already. Okay, we know. Yeah, I don't like his. Yeah, yeah. Get, get okay. off that! Get off that! Tackle him. He kind of went for it, I guess. He... <laughs> He was, like, indecisive there. Oh, deep ball. Ooh, nice play. Okay, I wasn't sure which one was him, so it took me a little while. So he's actually going to be the guy here in man. I love how he stays in base throughout this whole entire play. Makes out a little bit here, but has nice recovery speed as able to get his hands on the pass. <laughs> Great job with transitioning in between phases there, too. Oh, we got a good look here. Okay. Kind of got beat to the inside there, but he recovered. Yeah, exactly. He was in face for most of the route, then Gallup ended up stretching him out, creating a little bit of separation vertically, but he recovered nicely at the end of that throw. There's patience. I like his rotation of the hips as well. We got to see here, waits, waits, the receiver declares and then he rotates out and follows him down the field nicely. Great job of staying there. Playing him very tightly, I like that. Great play. Kind of got bit, exposed there. Yeah, I want to see a little bit quicker of a key step out of that back pedal. Moving back, moving back, moving back, and then, yeah, he just moves a little he bit. He just kind of slow right back. there. This 
is going to him. I already. Okay, this show thing is um, up and under. You see some opens. Again, this is going to go to him. This show thing is yeah. yeah. Is a. He needs to shut up right here. Oh man, you see, I love these soupy corners. Yeah, no, he's talking to CSU corner. It's like, you made the play, good job. Shut up, make sure you don't get it on sports on my call. That's just me, though, that's subjective. And that's how he got where he put his hands. He got a good job of getting his arms between the body and the, and the hands. I just started coming off that route and good wrap and roll. It's like when he wants to be once when, when he wants to tackle, he can do it well. He did a great job of undercutting that gallop route to get on the play. Yeah, it's when he his issue is he do, he's not as willing of a tackler as I'd like, but when he does, he does it well. <laughs> what happened here? Second thirty eight. I don't remember. Probably like a holding call or in like. Yeah, I. I mean, if you're putting your quarterback in second and 38, that's more likely to happen than not. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't help that your quarterback is Nick Stevens. They're going to be taking a lot of downfield shots. Oh, yes! Okay, I know that that's a catch, but that was perfect positioning. Watch where he's at relative to the receiver. He is right on top of him. Right in face with him. Right in his inside hip pocket. In fact, maybe a little bit ahead of him here. Beautiful positioning. If he doesn't stumble there, that's probably a pick or a pass deflection. That is beautiful, beautiful job of staying in phase with the receiver down the field, especially one that's as highly thought of as Gallup. I'm pretty sure he may have got a flag on this play. Oliver, I'm pretty sure they called a P.I. They called a P.I. on, uh, no, they called a push off on Gallup, which is an awful call. Well, I, I, I think I did do a good job of selling that. Yeah, now this is not, I remember this. Yeah, there was some awful P OPI calls. Like, that was terrible. This is terrible. That is not offensive pass interference. He did fall, though. So he stumbled on his him. own feet. Oh, cool. We got this one. Patient, patient. The clear's outside, so he rotates very nicely. Oh, yeah. That was terrible. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, I remember this game specifically. That there, I'm like, that was not the only OPI on CSU like that. Like, I think another thing. Does he even touch? Does he? He he like he touches him. Like he. Well, right here, I guess, where, right here is where he falls. Yeah. You can clearly see he's not making no. contact. Well, yeah, it's like. What I stopped to hear for is I love how he's checking this ball here, too. He realizes he's in phase and stuff with the wide receivers, so he's got his head up looking for the ball. He just needs to keep better balance and not lose his footing. But no, that's not offensive pass interference. Okay, I like his C step on that play. Get a linger shovel breaking on that out of the back row. Let me see him here, patient. And then he takes a step back and breaks. Three. Mm 
from patience and then breaks again. Or it seems trying to undercut that a little bit more. The guy I'm very patient. Love that in corners. And you see it again there, just staying really good in face position. And this throws the head of the receiver, Oliver, if assuming he gets the second round, probably gets a P PD. Well, he does get one anyway. He gets one anyway. Pretty sure we're getting his hand up and under. Patient, patient, points outside, so he goes outside. Yes. Turn your head, fella. Okay. Oh, it was a replay, I think, wasn't it? No. Oh, it was a different play? Yeah. Well, in that case, he does the exact same thing, and he does it well again. Right? The only thing is I want him to turn his head a little bit sooner. Or that might be a DPI. But nice job of doing the same up under there again. Very solid. So, uh, thoughts on that? Um, I thought he, he, it was, again, it's his best game of the season. He, he, he ran in phase with the, with, uh, the, with Gallup specifically, because that's who he was on practically the whole game. He ran with him in phase well all game. He got numerous pass deflections. He, he even sold a couple calls, I guess. But yeah, no, he he played both. He played well both on and off. One thing I'd like to see is a bit more consistency with his T step, because there was one play where it, it was done really well and one play it was done poorly. So I'd like to see him do it well more often. Another thing I'm going to add to that, too, is tackling. I want to see him obviously be a bit more uh, willing a tackler. So, oh, whoops, here we go. I'm on the screen. Oh, well. Back at all. Suplex City, bitch. <laughs> Sorry, I shouldn't have said that last word. Just came to me here. Yeah. It's gonna get. I, I don't know. He kind of just impressive. didn't move. He, 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 I'm like, he just like didn't move on that play. Nice job running with the re receiver right there. I'm recension. Fourth and one. Oh, it was kind of pointless to show that. 
Well, I think that one thing that you could say is that you probably could have recognized that this is going to be a run play, especially at fourth and wide midfield. Maybe you want to see him keep his eyes in the backfield here and try and set that edge. Instead of focusing on the receiver outside. Okay. Nice rotation. Nice shot opening up inside and out the course of these two games. Alright, and his back pipe. Oh, he over-pursued. Lucky he dropped that. Yeah, he over-pursued that. He said he tipped it. Holy, huh? he did. <laughs> he at least got his hand between him and the uh, receiver. Or the ball in the receiver's hands. Yeah. I don't know if he necessarily took the ball, but he had at least if I did the pass. <laughs> oh my god, what a terrible throw. Josh Rosen, what are you doing? He did not have a very good game this one. This game was poor. There, he's being aggressive there, and wraps him up. At least gets in on the tackle. Yeah, gets in on it. He contributed. So look. Good back pedal. Just so athletic. He's also really very patient. Flag. Probably offensive holding. Playing way off. Well, I see him keep his eyes in the backfield there. He just thought about that in the first game, too. Playing safety? Or remaining the tight end. <laughs> okay. Pursuit speed, I love that motor. Ends up around the ball. Great job in pursuit. Sound look of some kind, looks like. Oh, what a hit by whoever that was. 25. Yeah, it looks like this might be a cover 3 of some extent, or cover 1. You're off the block, okay. Okay, aggressiveness. I want to see him pursue that a little bit more. Aggressiveness. Probably read that that guy didn't have the ball. Oh, 
Oh, what is the other corner doing? 25, man, you were looking pretty decent. Oh, man, okay. I don't like how you opened up outside. Oh, my goodness, Rosie. Job of getting out of your zone. Play. Oh, I was 20. There you go. Nice read. <laughs> oh my god, did he just went out and miss that catch? It looked like it went right through his hands. He's like lightly jogging. You'd like to see him be aggressive right here. Get off the block. I think so. I'm almost at the point where if he's not going to make a play on it, just stay engaged and occupy the blocker. Yeah, not sure I like him at nickel. Or safety. Since apparently they're playing the safety. Flea flicker. Words. <laughs> that was not incomplete. That's clearly a football move. Oh, did they seriously call it? No, it wasn't. They called that touchdown. There's Gamboa who misses the tackle. He opens up outside so often. Yeah, because he isn't really a nickel corner. I want to see him open up in and look at the quarterback a little bit more often. He's fighting so. Green, he probably could have come down and taken away the flat receiver. It's like every single play is winging out. Or I probably should say rotating out. I don't know if that's an issue with reading concepts, or... What? Nice tackle. Great back pedal, I like his quickness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my god. He stepped out there. Josh Rose and QB1 boys.
That was sarcastic. Okay, it's a bag pile. Oh. I like his stance too. If I haven't already mentioned that. Nice tackle. It's like when he wants to tackle, when he's willing to tackle is a better term. He's a he's pretty good at it, you know. He can put some people to the ground. Oh, he just started to. Damn, I see him break on that so badly. Pretty sure we lost this game. Even when the receiver beats him inside, he still rotates out. I don't get it. Got off that block beautifully. And brings him down. Nice play. Same thing here. Yep, kicks off the pick very nicely. Brings him down. Mm, there you go. It's two straight great plays against uh, open field corners. Did they throw a flag on this play? For the late hit? Yeah, I thought so. You gotta slow down there. Off, nice flash shot. Can you tag him again? And I don't like how he was going around the neck area. That's risky for a face mask. Oh man, speaking of face mask. Alright, that could be hands to the face. I like how he's trying to rip the ball out. Yep, good point. He's such a good blusher. Horrible throw. I almost wonder if he could play nickel. I'd prefer him on the outside. Alright, so what are your thoughts on that? Um, I thought he did some things well. I thought, I liked how his block shedding and his tackling ability. I, he was fine in zone. I found it interesting how he always rotated to the out, rotated outside, instead of when the receiver is going in and stuff. And I'm still, I'd like to see him a bit more, he got, he got a bit more aggressive during the game, but I'd like to see him aggressive all the time. And also, he, and sometimes he needs to worry, he needs to, he needs to sometimes worry about hand placement. That's a bit of a concern later on in the game. And also, there's some plays where you like to get, it's, it's odd, it's like, he does ev he does a lot of things well, but it's like he doesn't he doesn't break on the well as much as you want. He doesn't turn your head his head around as much as you want. It's like he can do like not do everything, 
but he can do a lot of things. But most of the things that you have are negative. It's more the negatives are mostly you want him to do more of. It's not a lack of ability. It's more you want him to do more of this thing. Yeah, um, and that's a good point too. Like it's not necessarily a can't. It's just an inconsistency. And I mentioned that with the Ryan Jones video too, uh, where it was. The, a lot of his biggest issues were things that he just didn't do enough. So, really interesting point there. Alright, let's get into this. Is he playing man? They had to bring his own up, right? He was in bail. Oh, yes. Yes, there you go. That's how you break on the ball. And there you go, Oliver. And look at where his arm was, too. Right. He, he broke up that ball. There you go. Right between the, the hands and body of the receiver. Nice. Come on. Come on. Finish him. Talk he tried to strip the ball. The ball. Yep. I think he did that because he knew Lewis that was there with him. I... Keep his eyes in the backfield. Oh yeah, that's one thing that you'd like to see him do because I don't think he does that at all. What are you doing there? He's just not going for the tackle at all. Yeah. It's like you're right there. Go for the damn tackle. Man. Do you know what's the funny thing? I could tell you the exact place where I watched all of these games live. Oh, what a hit by 20. There you go, Lewis. Is this is... That was really weird all around. Even worse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was just poor. Um, what are they doing? We'll start from here. Why is he so far inside? The receivers at the numbers. He's clearly inside. Second off, why is he looking ahead? at him? No, no, I'm not. If he's looking, if he's playing the receiver, that's fine, I guess. But like, he's literally looking at grass. <laughs> it looked like he was just looking straight or like a little bit angled in. Uh, he wasn't really. His vision was in the in the wrong spot. And then he's completely out of step. Like, he, he read the concept later or something. And then on the receiver, he's running behind the first down marker. And then he tries to reverse field and loses three yards. That was just a bad play in general. <laughs> what? That's just a play of why did the, That's a play you just want to remove from the tape for both teams. <laughs> they got it here. You sure about that? Oh, okay. Nope. Looks like he did. Maybe. Yeah. No, he didn't. He's not going short. Get him. That's the looseness by Darnold. And he actually almost got a completion there. Wow. Nice. Great zone recognition. Turn your head. 
Yep. I want to see him make a play on that ball. Getting yeah, pretty good. Good play. Guard zone D. Nah. Nice catch. Yeah, that's a good catch. You would have liked to see him turn his head around again. Sooner, yeah. Yeah, sooner than he did. But other than that, he really played that as good as he could. He got his hand in the right spot. Does he get it out? Yeah, he tries to knock it out. So he has everything right from a hand standpoint. And he almost does, too. He juggled it a little bit. Man, you must see. What are you doing? Good tackle. Good tackle on Austin Carr. And then steps over him. One thing that we really haven't talked about that he does well is being patient and on those rants like that, routes like that. <laughs> that was a little risky. Can you try this? Can go a little high? Uh, oh wow, that's it. Cool. Probably got injured. This is when he probably got injured. What was that? Oh, yeah, that was in the second quarter. Yeah, that's probably when he got injured and then missed his games. Uh, so, well, actually, I, mean, oh, I just got... I just, yeah. um, He played at Utah. That's punt returns. Oh, I'm tripping. So I, I guess. Pass he pass he missed it, so yeah. Washington. He was. He want. He missed Washington. No. Oh, he missed some ten games. He missed the oh. UNC game and the Arizona game. No, he didn't. Cause he had two tackles. Jesus, I don't know when he missed. They only have ten games listed. Look at the I'm like, pull up the ESPN game log. That'll be better. Uh, California, California and Arizona State. 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 Yeah. So it's before the USC game. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Again. Weird. I don't our, know why they... our season was awful. That's why I don't want to remember everything exactly. I don't know why they took him out at the halfway mark. I don't know. Here. Uh, so, uh, time to do our favorite part here now that we are adding for film sessions. I'm not doing these for actual breakdown, uh, but it's just for film sessions so you can get multiple opinions on these. Uh, this is the NFL.com jet profile on Isaiah Oliver. Uh, so. I wouldn't say elite speed. Okay, well, we're going through this first. Uh, elite size and speed with arms that go on and on for days. I talked about the arm length. That's definitely yeah. something I'm looking for in Indy. Uh, looks the way teams want corners to look, so I'm guessing that's more of a size thing. That's like one. Uh, competitive to cash reach, plus deep speeding, explosive leaper. Okay, so we didn't really get to see a lot of his vertical ability. Uh, so we will get to see vertical jump numbers in Indy. The steps route release with long jabs into receivers from press. I've mentioned that a few times as well. 
Uh, definitely something that stuck out to me. Uh, easy to open a sprint against vertical threats. We talked about that for sure. Uh, you're staying in face with receivers very nicely down the field. It has tools and sugar to stop and shine his routes underneath from off man. Uh, so that's kind of what I was alluding to with the patience and those underneath routes. Um, greater margin for error early in the rep to the makeup speed, so the recovery speed and arm length. Uh, aggressive to claw and rake hands and arms through the catch attempt, so we talked about that a few times, how he had his hands in good position uh, as well. Soft hands uh, requires touch and precision to drop downfield throws over his range frame. Uh, so again, referring to the uh, So thoughts on those? I, yeah, I'd agree with that. I don't, I can't think of the best reading because you can't really see that on film, but, and I wouldn't say he has elite speed, to be honest. I think it's okay. I mean, it's, it's not, he's not slow by any mean, but he's not, like, really fast. But, yeah, I agree with everything. He, he disrupts routes. He can, he is long arms i almost said something else but you know keep it pg um yeah he he plays the ball ball very well i i think is another thing they they really didn't put there i think he plays the ball very well he went if he wants to tackle keyword is if he wants to tackle he's very good at that um he's pretty he's very he's good in zone he he is good in man. I'd like to see him improve in his man technique a little bit, but I think that's easily it's easily workable with an NFL coach. So yeah, going back to the positives that you mentioned, um, we'll get anything out using a second. I actually kind of disagree with you on this one. I think that his speed was really really nice, uh, especially down the field. Uh, we got to see him uh, against those work like against Gallup in particular. Uh, definitely did a great shot with senior face with him down the field there. Uh, so, uh, just something that I personally happen to like. Of course, we'll get to see uh, 40 numbers in Indy, but I expect him to be in that low 4-3 range. So it's 4-3-2, 4-3-5. Uh, almost like I, think he'll run mid, I think he'll run mid 4-4s. Four wow, really? Yeah, I think he has good speed, but I don't think he has elite speed like 4-3s. Jeez, okay, that's... You know T's Tabor got best running like a 4-5 last year, right? Yeah. Oh, he ran a... Hmm, alright. Yeah, I w if he was not in a 4-3, that's a big knock for me. Uh, anyway. Another so thing that they didn't put for positive is patience. On routes, whether... whether oh, like, yeah, they on, did. Uh, they did? Yeah, triggers stalking and shooting the shots underneath from off man. I'm tr I'm I wrote over that. That my fault. Go ahead. Cool. So on the weaknesses, uh, struggles to deer down from sprint mode. Yeah, we saw him uh, on particularly that one play in the red zone versus UCLA. Uh, he did that. Uh, unable to stay in face with comeback routes. So yeah, we brought that up. How we up, how we got caught out. Uh, gave up separation on those comebacks. Uh, too tall in back pedal? Okay. I uh, would like to see him get a little bit lower, but not something I actually mentioned, so good point. Uh, transitions to match pattern carry wasted steps. English, right? They just oh, forgot I, okay. what link. No, I, I get it. They're saying that when he matches, uh, he matches or carries rocks, he wastes steps. I can see that. That's a zone issue. Uh, mirrors and matches footwork doesn't come off easily from off man. Okay, so they're saying he needs to work with footwork and off man coverage. I can see that. We talked about him breaking on routes. Uh, allows workable separation from stems and breaks. So basically, when someone makes a hard cut, he allows separation. Definitely something that could be worked on. Uh, can't plant and redirect quickly on lateral change of direction. Talked about that a few times. Uh, doesn't play with much edge. Yeah. I agree. He needs to be a lot more aggressive. Uh, too much ankle biting as a tackler and will need to increase aggressiveness and run support. Obviously, we talked about that. 
uh, so thoughts on his negatives, anything you'd like to add, anything you disagree with? No, I, I agree with everything they put. Anything that you think is missing? Not really, I can't really think of anything. Uh, so, a comparison of Artie Burns. Uh, what do you think about that one? That's pretty interesting. I haven't seen Artie Burns play much, so I can't comment on that. Uh, yeah, Steelers corner. I think yeah. he's a little bit taller. Uh, he's got a little bit more speed. A little bit rangier. But, huh. uh, bottom line, Oliver possesses, you know, a standing combination of size, speed, and length. Uh, there are coverage holes in his game, he used to play with increased toughness, but he's just scratching the surface of what his talent could allow him to do with more experience and technique. Uh, Oliver has a high ceiling as a bump and run lockdown corner, but might benefit from a limited role in his rookie season, very round of two. Uh, so just again, uh, summarize this as well as your final thoughts uh, on him too, what you think he could improve, what you like the most about him. What do you see his potential being and where you would take him? Again, I have to put a bias warning on this, as I am a big Colorado fan, and when we do the Gallup video, there will also be a bias warning with that. Well, not really much as Gallup, but more with Oliver, but I think he's, I think he's a first-round player. He's a first-round player, for sure. I don't... I'd take him top... Tw I'd say later, like, mid-20s. Yeah, I, I'd say mid twenties. Oh, so I, I, what, like, what did you like about him? Why would you take him in the first round? What makes him so attractive to you? I like, I like his 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 size. I I really like his size and stuff. Um. Well, sorry, I lost my train of thought for a sec. You talked about yeah, how I you like his size. That's one of the reasons you took him in the first. Yeah. It's, yeah. And I liked how he plays the ball. He plays the ball very well. He he's patient. He he has a lot of good qualities that you can easily that makes him a first round player that you can work with. But at the same time, he does need work. That's why I wouldn't take him really higher than like twenty twenty. So I'd say twenty. So what kind of senior do you see as maybe a fit? If you need me to bring up the Tinkathon thing, I can do that. I would, I would personally take him in the second. Um, I feel like that would open him up to a lot more teams as well. Uh, but off the top of your head, do you have any ideas for where you'd like to see him go? Uh, hold on a second. Some, someone's calling me. Okay, uh, so while he's doing that... Uh, I'll give my thoughts on him here. Uh, again, uh, like Brain was mentioning, I do like his size, speed, length. Uh, definitely something that's going to get him jacked really, really high. Uh, I do think that he could use a little bit of work in some zone, uh, and he does need to do a good, uh, a much more improved job on his uh, underneath uh, with his comebacks and his his under things and stuff like that. Uh, definitely allows a little bit too much separation there. Um, and again, really that aggressiveness and run support. Uh, he can definitely have a little bit of tackling. Uh, we've seen him tackle some guys when he's playing that UCLA game, uh, but he needs to be a lot more aggressive and run support for sure. Uh, on the other hand, again, just really nice arm length. I really got to see that a lot with his press. Uh, definitely has the, the physical tools uh, for sure. It's more going to be about that technique. Uh, and what he's going to be, uh, how he's going to be coached at the next level, uh, which is probably a good thing. Uh, a lot of these corners, maybe they don't have the height that you think she does, or maybe they don't have the speed of thing she does. Uh, so, with him, it's more so just going to be about the things that you can improve, uh, which is really gives him a much higher ceiling than some of the other prospects in this class. 
Uh, Ring, you done with that yet? Yeah. Cool. Uh, so here is the draft order. Are there any teams really in the top 20 that stand out to you that you could see taking them? Dallas is the main one. They have a pretty big need quarter, and they took the other Colorado corner last Gio. year in a woozy, eh? So I think it could be a, a natural fit. Yeah, I mean, even, I was even just talking the second round. So if we, if we were to follow the second, which of these teams that you need, that you see in the corner that you see taking them? I could see someone like the Giants or Colts taking them. Because the Giants and Giants and the Colts have pretty big needs at corner, in my opinion. Uh, see, I think the Giants need more of a nickel guy. They already have DRC and Genoris on the edge. I but, see one team here, and I think if the offseason goes in a particular way, we could notice them take a corner in the first or second. And it's Denver. Oops. First rounder? No, second. second. Okay, good. I was about to say, I'm like, what? No, if Denver take... I, mean, I don't think he's going to go in the first. I think there's too many technical aspects to uh, knocking down people's boards. Because uh, we already know he has the physical tools, but you're going to have to teach him technique and limit him in the first year. I don't think teams are going to take a guy who they can't necessarily play very much in their first year. Uh, but if he were to fall to that, that second round, top of the second, and Denver trades a cube to leave, or uh, Bradley Roby doesn't get brought back, or something like that, uh, definitely could be an interesting fit with him staying in Colorado. Has a pretty good secondary there already as a face. Uh, I have some, a mentor there you can learn from, and Chris Harris stays close to home. Obviously, Denver would probably know more about him than anyone else would. Uh, so, could be a very interesting team to watch there uh, if a cube does get moved in the offseason. So, uh, yeah, with that, do you have anything else? Oh, yeah, and then uh, if he does end up going in the first down here, which of these teams at the bottom do you think can make a play for him? Um, maybe a team like, uh, Patriots, if they lose, uh, if they lose, if, when they lose Butler. Yeah. Maybe Pittsburgh. Oh, okay. Hmm. The opposite, Artie Burns, that's the comp for him. Yeah, two... Yeah, I I think those are two teams to watch out for. Huh. If it does true funk do smooth, big if, but if that were to happen, yeah, I, I could see Atlanta. Atlanta. I think I, I don't know about Atlanta. I think they this this is a pretty good corner class. I think they'd rather take a defensive tackle in the first round. Possibly. Tennessee, maybe, could be interesting. Of course, Carolina needs someone opposite Bradbury. Uh, LA Rams are losing Jimmy Jack uh, Johnson. That could be interesting. Uh, Buffalo needs a corner opposite uh, Trey White. That could be interesting. Uh, Minnesota needs someone to replace Terrence Newman. Yeah, pair with Shea Wings and, of course, Xavier Rhodes. So, practically anybody from, like, 19 to 30, 31, minus uh, Jacksonville and New Orleans. And Detroit and Philly. We're not taking a corner in the first. Oh, all right. Minus those teams, I could see any one of those teams take, maybe taking a chance on them. Yeah, pretty good year to need corners, but also a pretty good year to be a corner. A lot of teams they need there. Of course, there's still free agency to go through. Butler could go to New Orleans, for example. Uh, so could go to could go to. I was about to say could go to New England, but I'm like, 
But wait, he already plays there. <laughs> That'd be interesting. He's not going back to the league. No, him. God, no. <laughs> Could go here if we, if Patricia wants to bring him in for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, we'll definitely see how free agency plays out with the tenth corner class available. Uh, so with that, do you have any final thoughts on Isaiah as a player? Um, yeah, not really. I think he has a pretty good chance to be... I'm going to put the big emphasis on the NFL. I think he has a chance to be... Because a lot of Colorado players don't do well in the NFL. So I think he is the best... My, obviously, Nate Soldier is the exception. I think he has a chance to be one of the best, if not the best... Keyword NFL player from CU. Obviously, we have Akella Witherspoon, Awuzier, and Tedrick Thompson. But yeah, I think he he has a chance to be one of the best. Cause Cordell Stewart, he he was good until they forced him to stay in the pocket. Rashawn Salam made his soul rest in his peace, but minus his rookie season, he wasn't really that good. So I think he has a really good chance to be one of the and a one of the people that could start that uh, CU can bring in and show if they want to recruit defensive backs, show what they have pumped out recently into the NFL. Very nice, very nice. So guys, uh, with that, you guys are stopping by Prospects and Show 101. Uh, don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and like the video. Uh, let us know where you think I say Oliver could fit. Do you want him on your team? Do you view him as a first round prospect like Brain or a second round like me? Uh, don't forget to let us know uh, what you guys think. Do you want him on your team? Is he a fit? Uh, things like that. Uh, so for now, uh, thank you guys again for joining us in this one. Uh, hope to see you guys again soon. Peace.